and welcome to Music Movement. I hope you all had a lovely half term, did you? I did too. Glad to hear it. Now today we're going to be looking at a new topic. Pardon? I've got something on my face. No, I don't. I don't have anything on my face. No. Don't be silly. I've got nothing on my face. Anyway, today we're going to be looking at a new... Pardon? I don't have anything on my face or my head. What are you talking about? No, something green on my face. No, my face is just the normal skin colour. Maybe you're talking about my ears? They're not green. I don't have anything on my face. Anyway, today we are looking at a new topic. Now you have hopefully been looking at this um, this week in school. If you haven't done the lessons yet, then maybe you'll be looking at it this week in school, okay? Sorry, can you stop telling me I've got something on my face, please? I have nothing on my face. I don't have anything green on my face. I don't have anything with horns on my face. And I certainly don't have anything that looks like a dinosaur on my face. So today in Music Movement, we're going to be looking at a new topic. Can anybody guess what that topic might be? There's a glue. Today we're going to be having a little brief look at dinosaurs. Now we could spend the whole year doing music movement lessons on dinosaurs. It is such an exciting topic. So I've had to really whittle it down to a very quick half an hour. Okay, so we're going to have to move really quickly. Is everyone ready to do a nice warm up? Fab. Okay, let's get our bodies nice and warmed up. Okay, now, in the dinosaur world, dinosaurs can run very slowly. Can I see you all running really slowly? Ooh, let's move those legs really slow, dinosaurs. Really slow. And sometimes in the dinosaur world, dinosaurs have to walk and run really, really fast. Can I see you running really, really fast, dinosaurs? Get those knees up as high as you can. Running really, 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 really fast. Ooh. And running really, 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 really slow again. That's it. So slow. And ready to run really, 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 really fast. And running really, 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 really fast, dinosaurs. Run, 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 run. You might be getting away from that T-Rex. You might be the T-Rex chasing your prey. Come on, let's get those prey. Run, 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 really fast. Okay, and running really, really slow again. Now the boo dinosaurs like the T-Rexes and the Brachiosauruses, they've got big, heavy bodies and they would do boo stomping. So we're going to do some dinosaur stomping next and here we're going to do some really low stomping. Stomp. 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 And now we're going to do some really high stomping. Get those knees right up. Stomp. 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 And really low stomping. Really low stomping. Stomp. 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 And really high stomping. Stomp. dinosaur world you might get some flying dinosaurs so can I see your wings flying up to the sky and down and 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 really quick flying up and down and up and down and really slow up and down and up and down Okay, now sometimes the dinosaurs need to eat really high off the trees to stretch up as high as you can. Eat the food off the trees, stretch as high as you can. And sometimes the dinosaurs have to eat things low off the ground to stretch really low down to the ground. Eating things off the ground. Well done. Well done. Okay, and I want to see you doing 
a big step because dinosaurs have got big legs. We're going to step into this knee first. We're going to step. Leaning on that knee, leaning on it, giving it a good stretch. You should feel this bit stretch too. And let's do the other ones. Let's do the other one, just falling into that knee with a rah, rah, rah. And you should feel that stretch there and there. Okay, guys, hopefully you've warmed up a little bit now, okay? Yes, yeah, some of you are right. I've got my dinosaur mask on today. Now, along with this video, I've attached a little video. I didn't make this. Um, I've attached a little video um, where you can make your own dinosaur mask. You can do it at home easily or you can do it at school, okay? So we're going to learn first about the different types of dinosaurs that we have, okay? So in the prehistoric lands, there would be, your land would be made up of different things, wouldn't it? Okay? So in our land at the moment that we live in, in the world... Our world is made up of land, sea, and the sky around it, isn't it? Okay, so there are three different types of prehistoric animals. You have got the prehistoric dinosaurs that would live on the land, okay? On the land. Now, most of these creatures, like the T-Rex, okay, like the Stegosaurus, he doesn't want to stay on that log. Okay, they would live on the land. Now, some of our prehistoric creatures would have flown through the sky, and we're going to learn a bit more about them a bit later. Okay, and some of our prehistoric animals would live where else? Which, which one have I forgotten? So we've got the prehistoric land animals. We've got the prehistoric sky animals. What am I forgetting? I'm forgetting the prehistoric sea creatures, aren't I? Okay, so the prehistoric sea creatures. We're going to learn a little bit about them next. Okay, I'm going to just take this off so I can actually see you properly. So the prehistoric sea creatures. Now, that the life in the Jurassic Ocean would have been so, so much different. In the Jurassic world, or in the prehistoric world, we are talking 180 million years ago. Such a long time ago, okay? Now, if you think that the humans have been living for a long time, the dinosaurs were living for much longer than that, okay? The dinosaurs were living for oh, about 120 million years. We don't know exactly. 120 million years. When you think this year in the human world is 2021, okay, we haven't hit a million, have we? Okay, so 120 million years they've probably been around, they were probably living for. So 180 million years ago, in the prehistoric seas, in their oceans, okay, you would have found you would have found many marine reptiles, even around Britain, where we live today. You would have found marine reptiles, dinosaurs that actually live in the water, marine reptiles, okay? Some of our reptile life still looks like some of those prehistoric sea creatures that did live then, okay? Some of our tortoises and our turtles, okay, our lizards, Lots of our creatures do resemble features from this prehistoric world. It's so exciting, considering it was 180 million years ago, to still have memories, to still have part of that. It's quite incredible, isn't it, on our Earth? Okay, now, you would also find old and giant snails. You would find ancient crustaceans, okay? Now, some of the relatives of those um, prehistoric creatures would be like our squids today, okay, floating around, okay, but we're going to have a little look at one creature, one marine reptile, which was called the Plesiosaurus, 
Now the plesiosaurus, unlike the land dinosaurs, they didn't have hips and legs to walk and run on. They instead had paddles, okay? Paddles, a bit like the paddles you would have on a boat. Paddles, a bit like some of the creatures that we have in the water today. Paddles that, paddles, sorry, that act like flippers to help them swim in the water, okay? They would also have had a very, 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 very long neck and a small head, okay? A really, 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 really long neck and a small head. Okay, now um, they would have eaten fish and other things that they would have found in the water. They did live in the water, but they also breathe air. Okay, so they didn't stay under the water all the time. They would use their long neck and their small head to come up for air and then go back down and paddle in the water. Okay, now a small, a small plesiosaurus would be about seven feet long. So if you imagine that that's a little bit longer than me, that's a little bit longer than my body that you can see right now swimming around in the water, okay? That's a small plesiosaurus. A big plesiosaurus would be 50 feet long or around that, 50 feet. That's 10 times the length of me, okay? Now, we are going to be plesiosauruses paddling our way along the Jurassic Ocean, okay, for our first song with our long heads reaching out to breathe some water, okay? So I want to see all you plesiosauruses. Let's use our paddles. We ready? Paddling along in the Jurassic Ocean with our long heads reaching up. Paddling along, paddling along in that Jurassic Ocean. Look out for some of the giant snails and the crustaceans. Okay, so that is our plesiosaurus. Okay, now, we said that there was three parts, didn't we, of the prehistoric lands. Now, we said we've already now had a look at the sky. Okay, so, we've had a little look, sorry, we've already had a look at the prehistoric seas. We've had a look at the plesiosaurus and the crustaceans that would have been under that ocean. We've had a little chat about the snails and things that would have been under that ocean. Now, we've got two more parts. We've got the land and we've got the sky. So the next thing we're going to have a little look at is the land, okay? So in our land, we have many different types of land Jurassic uh, creatures, okay? Now, I've chosen just four that we're going to have a little talk about today. Okay, now there are four dinosaurs on here. I'm just going to move this one out of the way because he's for next. There are four dinosaurs on here. I wonder if any of you already know the names of some of these dinosaurs. Okay, I wonder if any of you already know the names of them. And this one here, which would be very, very, very big in real life. Very big, this guy such a long neck 
Okay? So if I told you that there is a Stegosaurus, does anyone know which one is the Stegosaurus? Is this the Stegosaurus? Is this the Stegosaurus? Is this the Stegosaurus? This is the Stegosaurus. The Stegosaurus has lots of lumpy bits up its side. It's got a long tail. It walks on its four legs quite slowly. Okay, that is the Stegosaurus. Can we say that? Stegosaurus. Okay, now I'm going to talk about another one. I'm going to talk about our Brachiosaurus. Our Brachiosaurus. Now, is this the Brachiosaurus? Is this the Brachiosaurus? This is the Brachiosaurus, isn't it? That huge creature which would lift its neck high up into those treetops. Okay, it makes a wonderful sound, that too. You should look it up on YouTube. What sound the Brachiosaurus makes. Okay, so we've got the Stegosaurus. We've got the Brachiosaurus. Can you say that? Brachiosaurus. Okay, now the next one I'm going to talk to you about is the Triceratops. Is this the Triceratops? Is this the Triceratops? This one is the Triceratops, isn't it? Okay. He walks on his four legs too. So the Brachiosaurus, the Stegosaurus, and the Triceratops, they walk on their four big legs. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Hmm, okay. Which leaves one more that I'm going to talk to you about. What's this guy called? If you only know one name of a dinosaur, most of you will probably know this name. <laughs> this is the T-Rex, isn't it? Now, the T-Rex does not walk on uh, four legs. The T-Rex walks on its two back legs, doesn't it? Okay? It's a huge dinosaur. It's the fiercest dinosaur, the biggest dinosaur. Okay? It's got a very big mouth for eating. And it's got a very big... Rah! Now, it's funny because it's got very strong, big legs and it runs very quickly. But its hands and its arms are tiny. <laughs> they stay in here. So for a very fierce creature, it's got very small, funny arms, isn't it? Okay? So, for our next song, I would like us to see if we can be one of those land animals. Okay? You can choose. You can be the Triceratops. <laughs> you can be the Brachiosaurus. Okay, reaching high up into the trees. This one would be really stomping heavily around. Stomp, stomp, stomp. And you've got the Stegosaurus, okay, who would be also be stomping around on its four legs with its big tail. And you've got the T-Rex on its two legs with its little arms. <laughs> okay, now one of those dinosaurs eats meat and the other three are veggies they only eat plants okay which one eats meat does anyone know the fiercest biggest one eats the meat doesn't it he's the carnivore while the other ones are herbivores so if you're going to be a t-rex i really want to see you chasing those other herbivores and if you're a herbivore you need to make sure that you're watching out for the t-rex Okay, now if you're in class and you're doing this together and you take a part of a different dinosaur, just be careful of each other. Please no touching or tagging um, and please make sure that you listen and find your, listen to your teacher to find a good space in the room before you start this, okay? If you're at home, I want you to see if you can be each one of these dinosaurs, okay? Yeah, I'm not <coughs> the master, and I don't even think I'm the king of the dino. 
it's good to be king. Tyrannosaurus. That's the chorus. Tyrannosaurus. That's the chorus. See those Tyrannosaurus? Big stomping legs. You're going to chase after those herbivores. Chase after those herbivores with big strong legs. And if you're a herbivore, I would run away really, really quickly. Okay. Well done. So that leaves just <coughs> one type of prehistoric animal. Which area have we still not looked at? We've looked at the land, haven't we? We've looked at the prehistoric seas, which means we have just to look at the prehistoric skies. Okay, does anyone know what this dinosaur was called? <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a tickle. Does anyone know what this one's called? <clears throat> this one is would have been one of the uh, creatures that would have been in the sky. Okay, now the sky dinosaurs would have been pterosaurs, pterosaurs. I always find that quite a hard word to say, pterosaurs. Okay, now can you see he, unlike his friends down here who have arms and legs, and unlike the ones in the sea with the paddles <coughs> to do flippering, <coughs> this one has got wings, hasn't he, to fly through the sky. Okay, so for our last track, I'd like to see you all flying through the sky. Imagine there's a Jurassic land underneath you. It's 180 million years ago and you are flying through that sky. Okay, looking at the hills and the mountains. There would have been lots of volcanoes towards the end. Okay, erupting. Okay, T-Rexes chasing herbivores. Okay, so I'd like to see you flying through the lands for our last track with me, okay? So you might want to start up a tree. sky stretching your wings out wow look at that land below you you're sitting on top of a tree with this whole jurassic land underneath you volcanoes erupting t-rexes running around roaring triceratops okay you've got brachiosauruses reaching up who knows any other dinosaurs what would they be doing on take off for your morning flight. Oh, here I go. Shh. Big wing flight. See those wings flying really high and then really low. And really high and really low. Get down really low and really high and really low. Jurassic land. Now I mentioned at the beginning that our prehistoric creatures, our dinosaur friends, they live for such a long time, okay? Much, much longer than we have lived. I wonder if we will outlive them, okay? Now they, we don't know exactly, definitely, definitely why they became extinct. But we know that there was a lot of changes on the Earth's surfaces, 
Okay, I mentioned before that there might have been some big volcanoes erupting. So we know that the temperature and the climate was changing here on Earth, okay? At the same time, and maybe made worse, an asteroid, a very, very large rock, came to planet Earth and hit the Earth. Now, it may have been that that created even more volcanoes, okay? Or it may have just been a coincidence that, that there was more going on at the time. But it created a large black ash and the skies became black and dark. <coughs> and when all the dust settled and the sun came back out, the dust covered everything green and fresh and it was very, very, very hot. And I imagine for the dinosaurs, it was very difficult for them to live in a place so hot and so dry, it's very hard for creatures who are used to green and fresh and oceans to survive. Now some of their fossils and bones can still be seen. They were such an incredible, incredible species, all these different types. Okay, you can see that in the National History Museum. You can also see some of the prehistoric um, sea creatures down in Dorset and some of their museums down there. They're still finding fossils today. They're still finding bones today. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed our very brief lesson on dinosaurs. Sadly, 66 million years ago, so such a long time ago, we said goodbye to that beautiful period. But we still remember them, don't we? Okay. So for our last track, I'd like you to lie or recline on your chair if you're at school. Or you can just sit on the floor. Or if you're at home, maybe you'd like to try and lie somewhere or um, curl up. Okay. I'd like you to close your eyes and imagine that you are in the Jurassic jungle. Okay. And you can hear the dinosaurs going around you. Okay, and you can see the animals that lived in the sea, the ocean, flipping, flapping around. And you can see those uh, air dinosaurs flying through the sky. Okay, you can see a volcano erupting in the distance. I'd like you to relax and pretend you're there. And I'll see you next week for another music movement lesson.